winter time here, I guess. Um, this is the rainy season. And I think I am technically, a, well, a little south of the equator. So I guess you would call this summer, but when you're this close to the equator, what's the difference? So I'm guessing there's never any snow. And uh, we're 12 or 13,000 feet up right now. Nope, nope, I got that wrong. Probably uh, 8,000 feet up. sign said something about curvas peligrosas so I have not seen a sign yet that said dangerous curves and yet there have been some dangerous curves so let's see what their standard for dangerous is I don't want to make a rule of this but it seems that the most influential thoughts that I have are also the shortest because they so completely convince me to act as they wish that they only need to flash in front of me for a moment in order to convince me to do their bidding. The thoughts that motivate me in my life, the beliefs that create action that I like and that I don't like remain unseen. Just like one frame in a movie that goes by so fast I don't even detect it. So they aren't recognized necessarily, and even if they are recognized, they don't usually have language or words attached to them. They're abstract and veiled. Their inclinations or fears or desires that go deeper than language. So I don't remember them because they don't create coordinates for me to go back and necessarily locate them. And that's what words and language do for me. So I'll get to a difficult spot in my life. I'll start feeling a strange way. I'll feel off course or just wondering how I got someplace. And I'll try to go back and look at the tape. Look at the beliefs and the thoughts that were occurring right before I made a particular decision. I'll go back and look at the tape of my life. And I'm amazed at what I find. Just before moments of bad decisions, there'll be a flash. And sometimes that flash repeats. So what am I doing in South America? What am I doing here that I don't know yet? Because I haven't gone back and really looked at the tape. What's the truth underneath all of this that's pulling the strings? What's the truth that has created some kind of personally acceptable or socially acceptable explanations that are really just excuses. What's underneath all of that that's waiting to take control of this experience for its own purposes? What am I doing here that I'm afraid to admit to others or to myself? Here's what comes to mind. I'm missing the point of something. I'm out of center. I'm trying to justify my existence. I'm trying to build a self that appeases and impresses. I'm trying to build some kind of personal equity. I've told myself it was about other things, but it's these unseen thoughts these unarticulated motivations that have actually been pulling and pushing me around. Now they might not be completely in control, but the less I see them, the more control, the more influence they have in my decisions. There's a great death 
waiting to set us free. And it's waiting for us to die to all of those things that are pulling our strings. And right now it's waiting for me to let go so that it can bring a lot of good things into my life. It's waiting for me to stop worshiping, stop clinging, stop chasing, and most importantly, stop judging the part of myself that is 